なってる現実を見ろ<笑>先行せレイ様しどきなさいよ私を捨てたくせに今です転送系<笑><笑> Okay, so Shield Hero, this episode was fire and fantastic. There's a couple of things I want to say right out the gate so I don't forget to say them.、Um, I love how a lot of anime, you know, you have these lowly chasers essentially, right? And for some reason, it's a thing in Japan. Um, and it might not, might not necessarily be a thing. I imagine this is just like a. Like imagination, or like, you know, young, young to older men, they imagine themselves being these lowly chasers, but they do it in a safe form, in a 2D form, right? But I love that it's like so in rooted into like Japanese anime and, and, and shows and writing and stuff that like it has to come out here. And we already knew based on the first and second season, well, mostly first season. That Mochi also had like a little obsession with, with Philo, but now she was able to bring him back up from death again.、Uh, so much so, even to call a n a f u m i father and asking for、uh, her hand in marriage and going, going all out. You know what I mean?、Uh, so it makes it even funnier, you know, having this lowly chaser in Matiasu again and it being kind of the thing that's going to end up saving him and driving him forward in the story. So I love that. Second thing I want to say that I make sure I don't forget is it always perplexes me when we watch anime and there is a singing moment in a non in a non musical world. What I mean by that is Philo is over here, like, da, 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 you know, and but it's like there's no music. You know, we get the music because it's part of the show and stuff. But there, in, if you think about it, like in the world, unless there's mu magic, mu music magic, there's no, there's no music. And this happens all the time with like singing numbers in the middle of a fight or something like silly. Like it happens all the time. But I'm always like thinking about like from like point of view wise, like、mm, she's just like, dum, 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 dum. <laughs> she's just there. She's sinking. It still counts as sinking, but there's no music behind it. It's like,、uh, you know, what's she doing out there? But regardless, I appreciated the scene. I thought it was really, really cute. I love Philo.、Uh, in season three, they definitely.、Um, it's a weird feeling because they kidified her more. You know what I mean? They, they, the, the art, when she's like making like the hug and the cutesy stuff, like they definitely. It, they, it makes it's very clear. And it makes her seem like she's a child, right? Like, so, I mean, at least from what I take from it. So it's like they, they, pu they push the agenda more this season to make her more childlike, which I don't mind by any way. Like, I don't mind, you know, she is like, you know, newly out of an egg. Like,、uh, I don't even think now Fumi's been here like a year or whatever. So, like, she is still a child, okay? So I don't mind her, them child fying her. But then they keep showing us snippets of like her feet as she's dancing and stuff. So it's like,、mm, okay, what do you want here? Like, you want, do you, what do you want from us here? Because what, what you're telling me and what you're, the change you made and then what you're showing me, they don't quite, you know, you can't de age someone and then say, hey, but look at their feet, look at their toes, look at their, look at their this, look at their, look at their underskirt. It's like, you can't. These, da, 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 da. They don't, they don't, da, da, da. they don't quite go together, am I right? You know, it feels a little, it feels a little icky, feel a little icky. So I'm like, hey, I'm cool with what they, what they did as far as like art wise and stuff. But then the B side of that is like, well, maybe tone down the, you know, let, let's get some butt shots of, you know,、uh, you know, other characters, you know what I mean? So like, we got Whale Girl now. I'm like, just show me more of that. Uh, so, anyways, that's, those are the thoughts I wanted to get out before anything else. But、uh, I love this episode. You know, I love that the heroes have fallen. Apparently, they have all discovered portal magic, which just essentially means that、uh, kind of how si similarly how Naofumi discovered other skills that he could utilize when talking to the heroes. Uh, we saw Ren do portal magic. Obviously, Moriyasu can do it. So, that means that our boy. Now, for me, can do it too. So, I think that is、uh, going to be really cool once he discovers his portal magic of making it easier to kind of go around and stuff like that, just like it is for them.、Uh, I liked how seeing, you know, how m o d i a s u really fell.、Uh, he tried to take on the turtle, he epically failed. And then his party just went, You're a loser. And they just left them. They just left them. 
on the other end of the spectrum, we have Ren, who's a dumbass. He's a he's an intelligent dumbass, right? Un unlike Motoyasu, who's just like he's just an idiot. We have Ren, who is an intelligent dumbass. Like he kind of gets it, but you know, I like how this episode he was called out by now for me and. It's all factual. Like, he was treating this like a video game. He's treating it like a game. Like, these aren't real people. Like, the lives don't matter here. And when he effed up big time and his whole party got wiped, people that, even if he won't admit it out loud, people that this dude legitly cared about. These were his companions. And he let them die. So he's in the, he's in the state of denial to where he's trying to pin the blame for that on anybody else but himself. And he's just looking like a big buffoon from it. Uh, so much so that he's taking bitch in over here. And uh, he's allowing her to manipulate him. Uh, class A, you know, class A actor over here. Trying to manipulate his feelings and stuff. And it's really because she's just re-fortifying her belief in him. So that he can further disassociate himself from reality. Which is the fact that he messed up. So it's interesting to think that we're going to be in a storyline where Matayasu is the more level-headed one willing to work with Naofumi and Ren and Itsuki uh, may be on the opposite end of that spectrum as opposed to before where it was kind of the opposite. Matayasu was leading out the I hate Naofumi charge and then Ren and, and Itsuki, Itsuki specifically, but you know those two are more on the let's look for reasoning, you know, like more smart about it. Uh, but this just showed what kind of an immature dumbass Ren really is, and which is really, really true. So anyways, overall episode, absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed all the different contexts. Uh, can't wait to see the King's redemption arc. I feel like that is coming, especially now that it's, it's making it clear that Ren and maybe even Iski might be further away from actually helping now for me. Uh, he might need a portion of them. And then I like how the clown girl casually strolled into his village and he just, they spent like a minute and a half of him kicking her out and she just kept like waiting for him to say, come back. She just kept like looking back and he's just like, nah, go. Uh, so I wonder if she's one of the seven heroes or whatever too, or what her deal is, but we know she's going to be reoccurring, uh, especially too, because she has that weird, it looks like her VR is glitching out. So definitely interested to see on, well, what's that about? So anyways, uh, love this episode. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. My friends, I'm going to see you guys next week for episode number five. Have a great rest of your week. Have a great weekend. If I don't see you guys before the next episode, considering you may not come back for other shows, I do a lot of shows. I'll come back for other shows. If not, happy, happy Halloween. All right, my friends. Peace.